Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today it's Gabriel Menino, a player that I'm sure you might have been aware of last year and this year. Mentioned in the comments, it's a great shout. We've got to take a look at him. Um, a right back slash centre midfielder can play either, so well rounded, currently at Palmeiras in Brazil. Um, looks a very, very good player. I've seen him play for some top teams in Football Manager, but it is time for us to take a look here. Um, we can see 20 years old, 7.5k, so not on that much money. And you could probably get him on a reasonable deal. 126 current ability, so already pretty good. And could reach 153, which is very good. So with that, let's just quickly jump ahead, take a look how he gets on and develops, and see what's next for him. Okay, here we are, 10 years on. He's 30 years old now. It might initially look like he's not gone anywhere, but we can see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's been a few transfers, and it'll be an interesting one to take a look at. Still looks very good, 30 years old. Um, not bad. Made four appearances in Brazil. Would have expected a few more, actually. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how his kind of career took him. But milestones-wise, let's take a look at his career as a whole. Um, looking at Palmeiras, he played a lot of games for him, as there is a lot of games in Brazil, before a £20 million move to Barcelona. Didn't really get the opportunity to be the next Dani Alves, maybe, that they wanted him to be. Um, as then AS Monaco came in, signing for 12.75. Again, only really played one season for them, before a move to Brentford for £7.5 million. Got promoted with them to the Premier League, then relegated, then promoted again, before a move back to Palmeiras for £14.75 million. I'm surprised that it didn't quite work out. Again, it's probably because he hasn't been given the game time. He's not been allowed that development time, which is really interesting to see. Um, Competition-wise, we can see he's won a few things with Palmeiras, Copa Libertadores. Um, we can see the Brazilian National First Division, the Brazilian Super Cup, Brazilian Sao Paulo State Championship. So there's a bunch in there. Um, Runner-up in the Spanish Cup as well. Made his first cap uh, for... Brazil as well, European South American Super Cup runner-up, promoted from the Skyback Championship, relegated from the Prem, promoted, and then also has won the Sao Paulo State Championship as well. So he's won a bunch of stuff, most of it in Brazil, um, but there's been a couple of things um, that he could be proud of outside of that when he's been to Europe. Um, otherwise, seasonal best 11s, team of the year there in the Copa Sudamerica. Um but otherwise, it looks like it's team of the weeks and best 11s. Nothing substantial there. Uh, and looking at his attributes, how did he get on? Wasn't too far off the potential ability. So it makes it even more surprising as to why it just didn't work out. Maybe it's because he's so well-rounded. Obviously, there's a lot of um, ability there. So he, he's able to rise up to that. But it spread out so far, far that nothing really... He's never that good at anything, um, which maybe puts him down the pecking order as maybe a backup rotation, which is certainly something he can do, as you can see. He can play in loads of positions um, and is would be very good at all of them. So I'd say, yeah, as a squad player, definitely worth bringing in. Um, but with that, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next one.